Hello guys, welcome back to All About WordPress. It's me, Ashley. I do videos about features of WordPress website. In this video, I'm going to help you in creating a drop down menu in your WordPress website. Before that, if you are first in my channel, please like and subscribe my video and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notifications of my every new videos. So let's start. You see, navigation menus are vital elements of any website. It can be easily achieved by creating drop down menus in it. Here, I'll show you. This is a website of appmaker.xyz, a platform which helps you to convert an e-commerce website into apps. Here you can see drop-down menus are added to parent titles. So this is a very similar task where the coding is not at all required. You can see it gives a classy look to your website. If the submenus are added same as this parent titles, it will make your website so much congested. So this drop down menus help to save your space and avoid cluttering in your website. So let's see how it's done. We can go to our website. This is our website. We need menus for this. Menus are inherent factor of a WordPress website, but it may depend on your WordPress themes. Actually, almost all WordPress theme supports drop-down menus such as TV, Astra, Hestia, etc. Here my theme is Hestia. Now we can go to the WordPress dashboard. In dashboard, you can see appearance from the select menus. Here, if you have already a menu, you can go on editing that. I'm creating a new one. For a better understanding so click on create a new menu you can see a box here for adding a name to your menus but this name is not important as it can only seen by you so make it simpler this is only for identifying menu in WP admin area so I'm just giving us my menu and just click on create new here you can see menu settings where there is so much options if you click on this checkbox that is automatically add new top level pages to this menu it will add every new pages you create to this menu so I won't recommend this just click on primary menu in the left side you can see the menus for or the pages for selecting your menu there is different ways for adding your menu items pages or posts you just need to click on this boxes and click on add to menu underneath you can see custom links where you can provide a URL here you can see here you can provide the URL for the page where you can direct your users and also here you can create a short but a descriptive label for it and below you can see the categories option here, here you can add page and post categories to your navigation menu this will take users to an archive page where they can view all the content on a particular topic blocks and other content heavy site may find this especially very useful I'm not going for any of that just click on the pages option I'm just selecting the options that I need to include in my menu I'm selecting home and just click on add to menu here you can see it's already been added from here you can just drag the boxes like this in order to change its order as you please and also keeping like this you can see the alignment here now it's added as the sub menu of my cats you can understand it by this alignment so this is a parent title that is my cats this is also 
a parent menu or these are the sub menus of my cats you can also add a sub menu to a sub menu like this here you can see so the british short hair is a sub menu of my cats and the main moon cat is a sub menu of british short hair so just save the menu you have created the menu you can also delete one menu by just clicking on this drop down arrow and selecting this remove button saving now next go for the manage locations option here you can see primary menu here select the menu you have just created that is my drop down menu and save changes now we can visit our website to see how it's looking like here you can see there is a drop down menu added to my cats and there is a sub menu for this sub menu that is main moon cats that we have created so simple right that's all in this video if you have any questions or doubts just comment below i will clear that for you also you can suggest me the topic you need me you need me to cover in my next video till then bye